Hello, my name is Ron Martin. I am Vice President of Panasonic Hollywood Laboratory in Hollywood, California. The Hollywood Lab is charged with developing technology that will assist, enable, and distribute Hollywood content from the studios to the consumer on a broad basis. That would include DVD, Blu-ray, digital cinema, next generation displays like Ultra HD, next generation production tools related to Ultra, Ultra HD, and anything that happens to interface from the creative community to the technology provider all the way down to the consumer. I became vice president as Panasonic expanded its Hollywood presence with the facilities that we had at Universal Studios and with cooperation with our Universal Studio partners uh, I was given the task of managing all the operations that would deal with technology development, te technology deployment with our studio partners, Universal and all the other studios included. My current role is threefold. I manage a division called Content Solution Center, which is collecting, evaluating uh, 4K content for display on Panasonic monitors as the industry moves toward an Ultra HD solution. I also oversee what's called the 3D Innovation Center, where we use uh, relationships with other filmmakers in the 3D arena, and then I work very closely with the research and development team looking for new technologies and new applications of technology related to Panasonic products in the distribution of Hollywood con content. Part of being an innovation lab is we have to listen. We have to listen very carefully to the needs and requirements of the industry. Sometimes as we listen to those needs, we get ideas from our partners. Sometimes we offer ideas to them and then develop those ideas into solutions collaboratively with them. The process that we're involved in entails working with cinematographers, filmmakers, all the way from Hollywood's top cinematographers to independent documentarians, and working with them to develop processes and techniques that will capture their vision with technology and make it available for the consuming market. Part of the challenge of that is some technologies have to be customized to capture the vision of the filmmaker. Some of the tools that are out there are off the shelf and ready to go. Some of them have to be customized. Some of them have to be start from scratch developed so that we can work with our partners and really cater to their needs in such a way that there's value added in the process itself. For example, if we had a filmmaker who came to us with a film and that film has very specific color qualities and characteristics that, are, that we want to maintain very true to the theatrical presentation, we have to apply the technology very specifically so that there are no compromises in that product from the original capture through the editorial process and the presentation in theaters. The application of technology that mandates that we be very, very careful in our de development, very precise in what we do with those images so that the integrity of these, those images are carried all the way through to the consumer. The best example of this kind of collaboration was with James Cameron on Avatar, a, a brand new production of a very high quality 3D presentation mandated that the entire industry shift to a 3, 3D production. On the home video side, this meant that we had to, in a sense, develop a whole new technology for Blu-ray that would allow that 3D imagery from the theater down to the consumer in a very practical and meaningful way that was true to the filmmaker intention. Our laboratory worked very close with the Lightstorm production crew to develop technologies for taking that 3D imagery, putting it on a Blu-ray disc, and making it accessible to Blu-ray players and TVs. This was the first time this was done, and there's a tremendous amount of work and collaboration with the technology, with the signal processing that allowed this to happen, and it was all focused at the Hollywood Lab. The future of the Panasonic Hollywood Lab is now charged with 4K, or Ultra HD, and developing solutions that will take that new technology all the way down to the consumer. The human vision system wants more information when we look at things. We want it to look natural, we want it to look real. With more pixels on the screen, with more colors, you have this ability to really engage in the imagery much more than we did with HD and certainly more than we ever did with standard definition. 4K technology is really four times the amount of picture resolution than current HD TV. This means that we have more resolution for the eye to enjoy. When you speak of 4K technology, you have to remember that we are opening up a whole new creative palette. This will include expanded color space, the ability to capture and render more colors, it might include higher frame rates so that we can move beyond the 24 frame standard that has been part of the industry for so very long. It will also allow us 
to engage in, in looking at things like high dynamic range, which will put more light output on the screen to give us a more realistic image. To the consumer, 4K will make a tremendous impact. All those colors, all those pixels on the screen will mean that you work less to enjoy the image that's being presented. People will notice the difference. Maybe they won't notice it in the number of pixels on the screen, but they'll notice the presentation looks different, feels different, because they're enjoying such a wider palette. It allows you to lose yourself in that image, in that, whether it's moving pictures or still pictures, it's engaging, it draws you in a little bit deeper, it makes you feel better about what you're looking at because it's so pleasing to the eye to engage with. Many people won't be able to know the difference of looking out the window or looking at their television. The Panasonic Hollywood Lab is going to be right in the middle of the development of solutions for 4K. This will include sophisticated compression tools built around H.265 or HEVC as it's commonly called which is a new compression technology that will allow us to have greater efficiencies in squeezing these images down normal production pipelines. One of the endeavors that the Panasonic Hollywood Lab is currently working on is working with a production company that, isn't, that is involved today with producing 4K content. In fact, they're the world's largest 4K content producer. Panasonic has just entered into a sponsorship deal with one of these films called Titans of the Ice Age. This is a large format film 4K presentation that goes into science and natural history museums all around the planet. Journey to a world lost to time. Buried in ice. Ruled by giants. Explore the harsh and beautiful landscapes of the Pleistocene. 5,000 years before civilization. of the mammoths, kingdom of the titans, an age of ice, titans of the ice age. One of the advantages of 4K technology is for the first time we will be able to take what the filmmaker has produced for the cinema and translate it all the way down to the consumer in the resolution that it was originally captured, in the color space that it was originally captured, with the true filmmaker vision in mind. Definitely, we interact directly with the studio technology groups, filmmakers, and cinematographers, and this is an iterative process where ideas are exchanged and processes developed to solve these problems that the filmmaker has. We contribute to them as much as they contribute to us, and the studios have come to depend on us for solutions that protect their product, enhance their product, and make it accessible. What Panasonic offers in their 4K solutions is really unique. If you used to talk to many of the production studios in Hollywood, they use Panasonic monitors now for, for their capture quality control. By the consumer having access to these same kind of monitors, they're seeing a truer vision of what the filmmaker actually is trying to capture and translate to them. What makes the Panasonic 4K displays so unique is that they have DisplayPort interfaces, they have frame rates up to 60p, which is the first in the industry, and they contain more color space, more color gamut, we call it, the ability to display more colors that are more accurate to the filmmaker's imagination. From the Panasonic standpoint, one of our core values is this idea of quality, uncompromising quality. This means that we have to be innovative in our approach to technology. Innovation means to make new or to renew something that is already there. Every time we approach a new technology, we have opportunity to create new, but we also have the opportunity to go back and renew what's been done before to make it better, to make it faster, to make it more efficient, better for the consumer in every possible way, and that's our primary charge. 
from the aspect of the Panasonic Hollywood Lab, our goal now is to come up with technologies that deliver that imagery to those TVs in such a way that no compromise occurs. The future of 4K technology is looking very good. The studios are ramping up their 4K production. The editing and color correction tools are mature. Now the issue will become transmitting those signals down to the consumer, and that's where the Panasonic Hollywood Lab is at its strongest. Panasonic.